Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today we're going to make chocolate coated nuts. I've bought a mixed bag of nuts and separated them all out into their individual bowls and I want to know if you know what each of these are. So if we call this one number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight, can you list in the comments for me the number and the name of each of these nuts? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. What are they? I'm going to use some of them but I am not going to use all of them today. Let's start with these ones which to give you a clue are walnuts. Crack the hard shell and this is what they look like inside. They look a bit like a brain to me. Okay, so I've got a plastic container lid and I'm going to take each of the walnut shells and put some hot glue on it and stick it to the top of the inside of the container like that. The reason that I'm using whole ones is that they're very hard to break without damaging the shell and all the shells are slightly different sizes. Pour reusable food safe moulding gel into the bottom of the container then take that lid, flip it over and place it on top so that the walnuts sit half covered by the moulding gel. Once the gel is set, you should just be able to pull off the lid from the container and because the lid is smooth, the hot glue should just come right off, leaving the lid unharmed. Take the mould out of the container and then remove the nuts and you can see there the imprint of the shell and all those details are on the moulding gel. Fill each cavity with tempered milk chocolate. If you don't know how to temper chocolate just ask in the comments and one of my lovely subscribers will link you to the chocolate secrets video that shows you various methods of tempering chocolate at home. Once all the moulds are full or nearly full, agitate it to smooth off the tops and get rid of any of those air bubbles and then add a walnut half onto the top of each one and push it down gently. And then we've just got to leave those to set. While they are setting, I've always wanted to make chocolate coated nuts, but to do that properly you need a panning machine and I obviously don't have one of those. But then I saw this video where they put a stand mixer on a slope and added an attachment that you can use for panning, which sounds great. And then I saw the price. Hmm, so I've decided to try and make my own instead. So firstly, I'm gonna unscrew another attachment that I have for my mixer. So I've got that bit that goes into the top of the mixer. I don't even know if this is gonna work, but let's give it a go. So I'm going to take a hemisphere baking tin and to make it a bit bigger or a bit longer I'm adding the sides of a loose based baking tin around the top and just using gaffer tape to put that into place. Then using hot glue I'm adding a plastic ring to the top of the hemisphere. Now this is the side that goes into the mixer and that will turn it so the other side is the one we want to attach to the bowl right in the centre. Now I don't know if this is going to be strong enough but I'm using hot glue so that I can take it off again later and reuse all these parts for their original purpose. Here we go, put the mixer onto a slope and add that into place and then shall we test it out? My main concern with this is that this join here won't be strong enough and indeed it's not oh dear so we're going to need another way of attaching that and i think i'm going to have to sacrifice my hemisphere mold here and drill a hole right through it model version number two i now have a hole through the hemisphere mold and the joiny piece is hot glued into the center and success it is spinning and after a few minutes we have a light coating and then you can add a little bit more chocolate at a time to make that coating thicker. But it looks like the hot glue is still not strong enough. I really don't want to weld this together because I want the piece for my other attachment for the mixer later. So time for model number three. This time I've reduced the amount of hot glue on the outside to a smaller amount and glued a screwdriver attachment around the piece that goes through on the inside. I also got rid of the slope because the mixer works with the head tilted up so there's not really any need to put it on a slope, it can just sit flat with the head up. This seems to be the most stable model that I've made so let's leave that tumbling and check on the walnuts. Push each of the walnuts up out of the mould. 
And I think they look lovely. A box of those would make a beautiful gift for someone or just a bowl at a dinner party would be lovely for dessert. And once you've got the mould made, it is easy to make more of these. Then finally, after two hours of panning, just leaving them to go around on each other to make them smoother, we have milk. And then I put a layer of dark chocolate on the very outside and we have coated hazelnuts they're not as smooth or as shiny as i was hoping for but considering that this was a homemade panning machine on the spur of the moment i actually think they're pretty good and a life update for you we are back home from the hospital james is still on iv antibiotics and a whole bunch of other medications with an amazing service we have in australia here called hospital in the home so basically he is still a hospital patient but they come to us instead of us being in hospital so he's out of dangerous waters now he's getting stronger and a little bit less pain each day so thank you all so much for your love over these last few weeks i was getting really teary last week reading all the comments and the friday before as well when i was in hospital reading them all and thank you for all the virtual hugs you sent your support just means a lot so much to me to know that you guys care for us and for those of you who are asking where you could send james a get well card we've got the po box listed in the description below i'll put that on there as well and if you missed last week's video and you have no idea what's going on you can catch up on that here see more of the chocolate truffle videos here and other cool stuff here make it a great week and i'll see you on friday